Hello, thank you for checking out another video here on Bishop H Automate's YouTube channel. So today I will be going over an automation I built out using the Blue Prism RPA tool. This was my first time really being exposed to this RPA tool, but I built out what I would consider a fairly complex automation, maybe one of the more so complex ones I've built out using UiPath, even more so than UiPath. But uh, all in all, I wanna kinda go over uh, the, how I built this out, its purpose, and what it entails from top to bottom. So it is fairly complex. My goal is to talk quick and to get through most of the, I guess, hot topics or, or main portions of it. So if I stumble over my words, uh, you got to forgive me on that end, but ultimately let's get into it. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking this information from an Excel file, which has product code, quantity, unit price, cost center, and um, it has five rows of information that we have been giving. We're going to be placing this information into an external system order system and that external order system is going to be giving us a reference number that we will then be able to use for some other function for whatever the process was uh, for the, the, the use case of that reference number. So uh, what this is going to involve is actually using um, process studio, object studio, as well as uploading these items into a work queue. So the work queue we're going to be using is called consolidation work queue. And we're going to be putting those items here towards the end of the automation. Once I run it, you'll see that the items have been uploaded to the work queue that the bot will run through each work queue, add it to or each item in the work queue, add it to the order system and therefore give us that reference number in our view logs that we need. So let's get into some of the actual automation built out. So what we have right here is main page. We start, we're going to load items into our queue. We're going to launch and log into our order system navigating to our business object we're going to have a data validation check right here which will throw an exception if the data is not in place we're going to work the items in the queue and close out the order system fairly simple uh, from that standpoint but it does get kind of complex so let's start off with this so as we see up top i have multiple different pages some in which we call on our business objects and um, other ones which we do not we just use within process studio so the first item that we have right here and page we're going to look at is loading items into our work queue so this is what this entails let's go to it real quick we're going to um uh, navigate to our Excel data collection page. We're going to start, create an instance. We're going to show our Excel application, navigate to the workbook, get the worksheet as a collection, and then we're going to exit out of Excel. Nothing too complicated right there. Let's go back to our load items to queue. From this standpoint, we're actually going to add our items to the work queue. And what we have right here is a value named as text. We're going to call it queue name. That's going to be the name of the queue when we reference it within our automation. We're going to determine right here if work items are present. Here's our expression to make sure that there's something inside of the uh, actual um, queue name. And if not, I've you know placed an exception um, right here to throw the error, no items in queue in the event that nothing is in place. So from that standpoint, we're going to launch and log into our order system. So let's go to our object studio, and this is where we're gonna reference our business object. And of course we see right here, we have navigate menu, input order, order confirmation, launch order system, close order system, login. One thing I will highlight is our application modular, which I built out that actually shows the different um, elements that we have in place that correspond to different aspects of the of the order system. So we have order system, view order, option menu, new order page. And as you see, in each and every one of these are unique elements that were used to be able to actually select the proper place. And we use this, as you'll see, for some for some error handling to make sure we're navigating in a, and am on the correct place on the application as well. So that's the application modular. So the first thing that we did going back to our process uh, studio was launch and log in. So let's look at what that entails. Launch and log in. We have launch order system. Right here we have a navigate um, activity, which order system launch, pretty simple. We're going to, again, I placed a few wait wait activities here because we want to wait to make sure that we're actually on the right page. I placed a timeout right here for three seconds. Could do that one maybe a, maybe four or five. I might adjust that later. But we're going to be logging in. We're going to check to make sure that we're actually on the login place. Again, referencing this element that we have right here. And if it's true, we move forward. From that standpoint, if not, we throw this exception. If not, we will then log in, um, which we want to do. So here we will log into our actual application Again, we have a wait 
um, item right here. I think that one might be set to maybe four or five seconds. We're going to input our user credentials, press login. After that takes place, let's go back to our process studio. We're going to validate that the actual items, again, are in the work queue. And uh, I have that right here. I think I may have gone over that. If not, we want to use this expression to make sure there are actual items or there's um, uh, information inside of our queue name. And if there is, then we move forward. Now we get to our work items in queue. This is probably one of the more so uh, well, this is where the meat of the application takes place because this is where we're going to end up looping our um, automation. So we have start, get next item into queue, and then that's the action item right there. Then we have a few decisions right here. Are there more items in the queue? If yes, and is, if the case data is present, yes, and then we're going to move forward with our, with our automation. The purpose of this portion right here and I've added a block around this just to isolate some of the exceptions in the event that there is an issue that arises in our object studio. It will bubble up to this portion and then we have case recovery to attempt to resume and to move forward in the event that one of the items is not for some reason um, logging properly. And then we will get that on our log log um, reference on our consolidation work queue. So navigate menu, input order, order confirmation. Let's go to those really quick. Let's go back. So navigate menu, what we have right here. Once we get into the application, application to log in, we want to essentially press number one, which means place in new information. Once we do that, we're going to input the number one, we're going to press go, and then we're going to move forward. In the event that that menu isn't open, I have an exception right here that will say option menu not open, which we would then be able to read in our log as well. Once we navigate to our navigate menu, we move forward into inputting our order into our business process. So at right here, we have input order. Again, we're going to be taking that data row, the collection, and we're going to be placing it into our order system. But what we needed to do, remember, is that it was a collection from our Excel spreadsheet. We read it into a collection initially. We're going to be placing it and converting it into a text, so that way, a text type, so that way it can be read. And again, product code, number required, unit price, cost center. Those were the same rows that we had on our Excel spreadsheet. Those are what we're going to be putting into our system. It will put them into the system, press submit, and from that standpoint, in the input order process. Moving back to process studio, order confirmation. This is where we're going to get our order confirmation and reference number. And that's where we're going to be able to view that in our log at the end of our, um, our bot running. So again, we're going to start. We're going to be um, from, this, from this read, activity we're going to read our order reference number we're going to get the text from it and we're going to store it into this this data item that i have called ref sentence ref sentence is the name of it from that standpoint we're going to retrieve simply the order number because after we put in those product names cost center and those other items is going and press submit is going to give us a specific order reference number to that actual um, information so the expression I have right here is to isolate strictly the reference number. And of course, that data item will be a number. And this is going to take away the please take note of your order reference, but simply isolate the number which we would then use. And that will be saved to extracted number order number data item that we have right here. Once we do that, we're going to close the order confirmation page. And what we have to do is get our business object to speak back to our process studio again right now we're on object studio but we need to get this information that we're using from our application back to our process studio so as you see right here i have an output placed uh get value from that extracted order number and we're going to place it into and reference it here and i think i have this called ref number back in our process studio so once that takes place once all that takes place we will then work the, uh, we're going to mark the item complete in the work queue. We'll go back up here and we'll check again with this action item to get the next item in queue. And then we'll check to see if there are more items in queue. And again, there are five actual rows of data that we have to put in. So if there is still information in that work queue, it will then process the loop again. If not, it will end out the actual automation and then the process will be complete. 
So with that said, once it's all complete, we'll be able to come back to consolidation work queue. You will see the items inputted here. They should have check marks beside them. I should be able to look into the view log and then look at each reference number that it spits out from the output given for each unique reference number. So with that said, thank you for listening. Let's run the bot and I'll see you on the next video.